Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing our last Shein unboxing haul and today it's just gonna be um, clothing items like t-shirts, dresses. I think I've got a pair of pants and I believe I have a skirt as well. And I also have shoes. I did find, because they still had the shoes that I originally bought last year, those uh, chunky heels and like the boots with like the, um, I think it had like a pentagram and like some of like the witchy patterns on them. They still have them on there. These boots that I got this time are very different. They were, these were the only ones I could really find. And they were kind of like a shorter heel and they were almost like a, like a, like a snake skin material, I think, or was it just leather? Can't remember exactly what it was, but it's like a pointed toe, kind of like a witch's shoe. And it has like buckles that go up the ankle. I'll show you guys that one later in my video once I do shoes at the very end because I do want to talk about these shoes. Let's get into this video. I want to show you guys this first outfit that I've got on because I do have them in the same material and the same pattern. So let me show you the top first. So this is a velvet material. It's really soft. Has this like lace detail. I don't remember what size I got this in. I think I got it in a size large. Um, it has like this ribbon detail that goes up the bottom and you can see like if you can look at the pattern on the let's see there's another brand that has an, a pattern that's just like this it's a lot more expensive and I thought when I saw this it was like the perfect dupe because it's a lot cheaper And now let me show you the pants. I should have sized down in the pants because I think they're supposed to be like, they're supposed to be like leggings. Um, I got them in a size large and I think I definitely could have gotten away with a size medium. I normally don't buy pants on Shein unless I buy leggings. Leggings, I always go with the same size, just like a large, maybe a medium if I have bought that material before and I know it's really stretchy, I'll buy a medium. But other than that, I always buy a large and I really didn't know what the quality of these pants were going to be, but I think I'm going to go back and order the size medium and probably give these size larges away. So if you guys are interested in, you know, me doing like some kind of giveaway because I do want to do Hydro Drug giveaways as well. I have a lot and I've had people ask me if I could give them some of my old stuff and I have given stuff away. So with that being said, if there's something you know I don't want and you totally want it, just let me know. So here are the pants. Let me... Okay. So these, I can definitely pull them up more. The waistband is definitely very, very stretchy. These are very stretchy. And it still has like that nice velvet material. It's still really, really good quality. So soft. If I step back a little bit, I know there's laundry behind me. Um, you can see how long they are and I guess I could still wear these as leggings but the bottoms they're not very tapered so I could still get away with just wearing these as pants or I could just wear like boots over them or something like that see the legs are very loose they're not very tight but I think if I brought them down a little bit they they're baggy if I bring them down they make my they're not very giving on my butt that's for sure because of how big they are I still like them but I think I'd rather get a size medium and just give away these larges for sure so I'm gonna go through and do the t-shirts or maybe do sweaters first whatever looks good and then we'll go from there by the way I grabbed that skirt that matches that shirt and pants I'm actually going to wear that for this first part of the video. Isn't this sweater cute? This is one of the sweaters I was going to show you guys, and I'm glad I got this in a big size. I don't remember if I got it in a large, extra large, or went another size up, but this was really, really cute. I wanted to get something that had more of a Halloween vibe to it, because I know I didn't really do that last year. Last year, I think I went with like a whole gothic, witchy kind of theme, but this year I wanted to like get more stuff that I could actually wear. Um, this is a really nice sweater. It's not like full length, I guess. Like when I put my arms down, it's like 
right at my wrist. And so they're really very nice. And here's that skirt I was telling you guys about. It's the very same material and the same, like, the exact same pattern that's on the other two items. It's a really, really cute skirt. I'm not really a skirt kind of person, but this I will definitely keep. I got this in a size large. And it's, as you can see, it's actually not, like, super stretchy like those pants were. But I like these because they're longer and I like them like that. I like my skirts long. I don't like short skirts. I don't like short shorts. But this sweater is so cute. I love it. It's got a little it's got a little bunny in there and it's got a little cat. And I think that's another cat and it's a pumpkin cat. Oh, it's so cute. So now let's try on the next sweater. All right, here is the next sweater. It's actually pretty long. It's supposed to be baggy. Um, you can actually wear it with leggings or it's not long enough for you to wear it as a dress. Cause let's see, it sits like, right? Like if I'm not wearing it like really relaxed and stuff, it's almost as long as this skirt, but I would not wear this as a dress even though it's like right here. My butt cheeks are like right here. So, I would definitely wear these with leggings, but I like how the the um, edges of the sweater, especially the sleeves, have like that really frayed, like cut up kind of look, but it's got bats all over it. It's a gray color. It's actually really, really warm. It's a really soft, like knitted material, which I really like. Ooh. Definitely like this. It's the perfect fit. It really is. This was not a plus size. So I think I got this in a large or extra large. I'm not really sure. Um, but before I forget, I will link everything that I bought in this haul in my description box below. So if you like some of the items that I've shown you guys in this video, go ahead and click on it. I also have my own Shein link, which if you shop through that link, you will get like, I think it's like 10 or 15% off your, your um, order. And then on top of that, if you do create a Shein account, you will have access to like lots of coupons. Like that's how I'm able to like shop the way I do is because you can stack coupons. You can, your points like add up to like cents or two dollars. And on top of that, I use Afterpay, which allows me to break up my payments into four payments. So that way I can spend a little bit more money and not have to worry about spending all of my money all at once. So yeah. Anyways, let's get on to the next pieces. I've got t-shirts and then we're going to do dresses at the very end. Alright, here is the next t-shirt that I bought. I really, really like this one because they're dancing under the moons and it kind of gave me like a, like a Halloween kind of witchy vibe, you know, like where they're dancing around the fire, dancing underneath the moon kind of thing. That was the one thing I really liked about this. Super cute. And this one is just like a regular printed t-shirt. I think I got this one in a size large as well. It's just something normal, something comfortable. The next one's actually going to be a longer t-shirt. And I think I do really like this one. Aha! Well, this one is definitely not super, super long, but it definitely has a longer fit. It's like a black and orange tie-dye kind of color. And like the hands are a little bit higher than my boobs, but I am wearing a bralette. I think... If I'm wearing a regular bra, my boobs probably will be up here, but with a bralette, my boobs are like here. <laughs> so, but I still really like this. This is very, very cute. Definitely the kind of shirt I would wear. I do, I had another shirt that I bought on Shein as well. I think it was like last year, the year before that. And when it was the one where the hands were given like the middle fingers and yeah, I don't know what happened to that shirt, but here is the Fully. Right to my butt. And if you guys haven't noticed yet, I have like the same makeup and the same bralette in all my videos, but that's mainly because I've had to film all my videos in one day because the weekend of the second video that's that was uploaded, I was out of town, so I had to record everything edit everything and like have everything prepared to be uploaded so yeah that's why i look the same in all my videos but look at my beautiful makeup i'm using the ColourPop and 
Dose of Colors Sierra Sassy palette. All about that orange. And the glitter is actually from the Orange Glad palette. ColourPop. My lips are ColourPop and Juvia's Place. And my highlighter was um, Dose of Colors as well. So now let's move on to the dresses. All right, this dress I got in a 0XL and I'm glad I did. This was a plus size dress. I really like this um, caged front. It's actually really, really pretty. And again, I am wearing a bralette. If I wear a bra with this, it would look so much better. But you know, I'm kind of just staying at home today. So it has a spider web design all over the dress. Let me stand up so you can see how long it is. Super, super pretty. Really like this. Here is the back part. Definitely really like this one. I don't know when I'm going to wear this, but hopefully soon. All right, this one, I wanted to go with something that I thought was really familiar to Halloween. And if you guys have ever seen that show, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, when I saw this dress, that's exactly what I thought of. It is a little bit lower cut because, you know, the, the three girls, theirs was a little more higher cut on the neck. But this one gave me like a really elegant schoolgirl kind of vibe because it does have like the puffy frilly sleeves. They're not full length. They are about like quarter. See? They're about like to the wrist, but like they're actually like in the middle of my forearms. It's really cute. It's like a really soft um, material. And these are like a fake button up detail. I did get this dress in a zero... XL as well. This wasn't, I don't think this dress was plus size, but it did come in like bigger sizes. So I am glad I did get a big size in this because I definitely like it like that. This is the back side. And I don't think the back side has like that collar detail. Nope, it does not. It's just the front. Definitely like this. I think this with like a straw hat was a super super cute and like maybe some like black chunky heeled like boots or like shoes <sighs> okay now let me try on the last one the last one is a plus size dress so here is the last dress it has like a small cage detail in the front i think this would be better for someone who has bigger boobs um but i, I do have like I kind of wish this was like adjustable because you can see how much it's like kind of slacking. Um, but it's a really nice velvet material. It does have a zipper fasten in the back and like a little hook at the very top. It was really easy to get on and actually fit perfectly for a 0XL, which is also a plus size dress. And this is what it looks like. It's like just a plain velvet um, pattern material. It's got like the lace details at the very end and it goes all the way around. This dress is actually really cute, really, really cute. It's perfect for just like a normal, casual, like, but cute, maybe an elegant date or something like that. Pair it with some heels, some boots, uh, fishnets, anything like that. And I think it'd be really, really cute. I think the straps are adjustable. Let me double check. They are not adjustable. I don't feel any kind of um, adjustments back there so but these are very stretchy like you see how stretchy this is very stretchy I think I definitely could have gotten a smaller size in this dress so if you are interested in this dress and you are a little bit bigger than me um, leave me a comment down below if you're interested in any of the items and I will let you know if I will be giving them away or not I think I might actually give this one away I'm not really sure I don't really normally wear stuff like this, but yeah. So anyways, forgot to show you guys the shoes. So here are the boots that I got. It is that like that snaky material and it does have the buckles and the pointed toes just remind me of like witchy kind of shoes. Um, I'll insert a video like right here of me wearing them so that way you guys can see what they look like on. I think I got these in a size 38, which is I think a size seven or six and a half I'm not really sure normally I get all my shoes in a six and a half but I know from like buying these kind of boots in my last Halloween haul I think I did go for the size seven because they did fit a lot better the tennis shoes though 
I can definitely go like half a size smaller, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. Okay, so here are the tennis shoes that I have bought. I saw these and I didn't see them last time, but they're like a high ankled um, sneaker. It's all black. And the one thing I like about it, it's like they're fake um, like shoestring ties. You can still like tighten them a little bit with the shoestrings, but they're kind of just for looks. And I do love that leopard print at the bottom. They're really nice. These are actually really lightweight and they're very comfortable. I already have like two pairs and they're literally the only things I wear to the gym on every single day that I'm working out. I, I freaking love these. These I did get in a Euro 37, which is a six and a half. I freaking love these. I saw that they had this in the high top, but guess what I also saw? Low top. So you know I had to get these as well. Um, these you can actually still tie at the top. And let me tell you about this brand. So the brand I believe is called Kukuko. It's C U C C O O. Kuko, Kuk, Kuko, Kuko, something like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be our last Shein haul for the year. I don't know if I want to film anything for Christmas because I did see that they already put some Christmas stuff up on Shein. And they did have some really cute sweaters and some really cute earrings and stuff like that. So I'm kind of half tempted to show you guys like what I end up buying. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should do that because I am half tempted and I might just film it anyways. Um, still, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try to do a little bit more, something similar to what I did the year before. This year, it was just a little difficult with changing jobs and, like, moving to a new place and, like, you know, a lot of political stuff. It's just, it's just made my life a little difficult. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have a really great rest of your October and happy Halloween. Stay spooky. And I'll see you guys next time.